AI music has come a long way. It's been quite a while since I did a video specifically dedicated to AI music tools. And at the moment, I've kind of narrowed it down to the two tools that I think are the best tools at generating AI music. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've probably heard me talk about both of these tools, but I wanted to make a super quick hit video where I show off my two favorite AI music tools and experiment with what they're capable of. Now, the first tool that I find insanely impressive is loudly.com. If you need a song that doesn't actually have lyrics, but makes for good background music for a video or a podcast or a live stream or something like that, Loudly is the perfect solution. Now, before I get any deeper, none of this video is sponsored. Neither of the two tools that I'm talking about here even know I'm making this video. I just wanted to share the two that I think are best in class right now. So jumping into Loudly here, we can see this is what the user interface looks like. And there are all sorts of options that we have available to create the perfect song for our needs. Now, by default, they give you a simple option of just choosing a genre. So for example, let's just go ambient cinematic. And then if I click generate, it'll just generate an ambient cinematic song without much input from me. Here's an example of what it generated. Honestly, I could picture something like that on something like the Dune soundtrack. That is what it sort of reminded me of in my head. But here's the thing. Loudly has so many options to dial in the exact background song that you need. So check it out. All of these options down the sidebar here. I'm just going to click plus on all of them. And you can see all of the various features we have available. We can change the key to a minor or major key. Select the exact key we want it in change the tempo, change the structure to, you know, starts off slow and then upbeats a little bit, then slows down and then gets even more upbeat or starts off upbeat and then slows down or just like a slow crescendo or a crescendo up and then a crescendo back down. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> we could choose the energy level, low, original or high. We can blend it with a second genre. So if we wanted to, we can blend techno and hip hop and see what we get. We can select the specific instruments that we want in our composition here. This one that it generated just has synth and bass, and we can generate a duration all the way up to seven minutes. Now, the option to change the duration is only on the paid plan, which I did just upgrade. I paid for it myself. They didn't give me access. And if you're on the free version, you can generate 30 second songs. If you're on the paid version, it generates up to seven seconds. So let's generate something, you know, right around the two minute range. And Let's make sure it's in a major key. Let's go key of G instead of ambient cinematic. Let's go ahead and do hip hop and bring the tempo up to bring it up to 95. It says recommended 80 to 95. I'm assuming that's based on the genre we selected. Let's do this slow burn option, but with high energy and let's blend it with techno. And you can see it automatically selected a bunch of instruments based on what we selected already here, but I want some guitar in there and let's drop the strings and let's go ahead and generate. Now we're really dialing in a custom song for our exact needs. Look at all of the settings across the top here of what we put just into this song. And now we get something like this. But let's try Gritty Grooves. But what's cool is we're not even done yet. Let's say I really liked this Soulful Sounds one here. I could click on this studio button and it brings me to another screen where I can dial it in even more. So let's go ahead and press play and listen back again. But let's crank up the radio. Now listen. It seems to have dropped a lot of the low end in the audio. Here's the original again. Here's with radio turned on. We've got this destroy here. So here's original. Here's when we turn up destroy. Ugh. I mean, it's different. Let's add more space to it. Really kind of brings up the reverb. In fact, even when I pause it, we still hear that reverb go for a second. We could tweak the tempo here. Let's go ahead and amp it up a little bit and click apply. Now we should have a much faster version. So 
So even once you've got a song that you like, you can come in and further dial it in and add more ambience to it, speed it up, slow it down, change the energy, even remix it with another genre if we wanted to. So many cool things in Loudly, and you can actually use this one for free. However, it will only generate up to 30 second songs. The second tool I wanna show you is one that if you've watched my channel for a while, you've definitely seen me talk about it, but I just love it so much and it keeps on getting better and better. And that is Suno AI. This one actually writes lyrics and sings the songs too. This is, this to me just blows my mind every time I play with it. So if I come to Suno AI and I click on make a song, it brings us into this really simple user interface and we can click on create here. I do have a subscription. I did pay for it myself. Suno did not give me a free subscription. This is another one that I actually do pay for. That's why I have all these credits. Suno has a few options. It's not overwhelming at all. We can either go to custom mode where we enter our own song lyrics, pick a style of music, give it a title, and then hit create. Or we could just keep it in simple mode where we give it a song description and it does everything for us. It writes the lyrics, it does the whole deal. I love this mode because it just uses ChatGPT to write a song about what you ask it to write a song about in the genre you want it to write in. So for example, I could give a song description of a hip hop reggae fusion song about how AI is fun and not at all scary. In fact, I'm gonna even add a humorous hip hop reggae fusion song. Let's go ahead and create that. Here's the first song it generated. Yo, listen up. I got a story to tell about this AI machine that we know so well. It's smart as hell, but it ain't no threat. Just a fucking little machine you won't forget. Oh yeah, I got them beats making heads pop. Reggae vibes got the whole crowd on top. It's spitting verses faster than we've ever seen. Dancing with the robot, living out our dreams. I mean, come on, this is actually a good song. <laughs> I would listen to this. And then it also generated a, another version here. It's gonna use the exact same lyrics, but it's gonna be different instrumentals and background music. So here's the variation it made. Yo, listen up, I got a story to tell About this AI machine that we know so well It's smart as hell, but it ain't no threat Just a funky little machine you won't forget We say, oh, AI is so fly Come on, everybody, let's give it a try AI's on the track, got us feeling all right, all right. And then it goes into its uh, instrumental here But it's pretty good and let's go try something completely different. Let's let's try a pop punk anthem about why you should subscribe to Matt Wolf on YouTube for all the latest AI news and tools in the style of Blink-182. Let's see what happens if we toss an actual band in there. I actually don't know, so let's see what happens. Ah, uh, bummer, it says, couldn't generate that song description contained artist name Blink-182. So apparently if you put an artist name in there, it says no. Let's just go ahead and get rid of in the style of Blink-182 and see what we get. So here's the first variation that it generated. In this digital age, we're a taking the stage. Just one place you need to go, where the knowledge flow. Subscribe to Matt Wolf, he's got the tools you crave. For all your AI news, he's the one you gotta save. Notification bell, you'll never- I like it so much. And here's the second variation. Once again, same exact lyrics, just different instrumentals and melody and everything. In this digital age, where I take in the stage, there's one place you need to go. Where kind of struggles with the word AI a little bit, but other than that, pretty good. Where the knowledge flows, subscribe to Matt Wolf, he's got the tools you crave. Don't let your mind go slow. I'm blown away. This is actually music I want to listen to coming out of Suno, so good. Now, if you're curious about pricing, Loudly, the first tool we talked about, they do have a free plan, but you can only generate 30 second songs. 
or for six bucks a month, you can generate 300 songs that are up to seven minutes long. This is the account that I'm actually on, and it makes for great background music if you don't need the lyrics. And then you've got Suno, which is based more on a credit system here, but they also have a free plan that gets you 10 songs a day, but it's non-commercial use. Or for eight bucks a month, which is the plan that I'm personally on, gives you 2,500 credits or 500 songs a month. And you can use it commercially, and you can have it generating up to 10 jobs at once. So pretty cool. These are super impressive. Between Loudly and Suno, I've been having so much fun playing around with these music tools. So if you're into music, you need music for videos, podcasts, streams, whatever you're doing, this is so good. Like, let's say you're putting on a conference. I was at Social Media Marketing World recently, and I actually made a song about Social Media Marketing World and then played it from the stage during my presentation, and it just blew some minds. Check out Suno, play around with it, get in, play with the free version. It is so much fun. I could almost guarantee you are going to have a blast making some songs in Suno. And that's it. That's all I got. I wanted to make a fun, super quick video, break down some of my favorite AI music tools, walk you through them, show you how you can make music yourself with them. And if you haven't heard of these tools, go play around with the free versions. I think you'll be really, really impressed. That's all I got for you today. If you like staying in the loop with all the latest cool AI tools, make sure you check out futuretools.io. If you're specifically into music, you can narrow it down to AI music tools by clicking this little button here and it'll show you the 49 tools that are currently on there. You can see the two at the top are Suno and Loudly, but there are a ton of other AI music tools you can play around with. But at the very least, you gotta go play with Suno. It is so good. So thanks so much for tuning in, watching this super quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe some of you learned about a new tool that you haven't heard of yet. And if you like videos like this and you wanna know about cool AI tools and see them tested out before you go and use them and pay for them yourself, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I promise I will put more videos in your YouTube feed about similar topics that are just as fun to play around with. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you.